to stay at home for this. Well, it has officially been a minute since I've been out here at this truck. Sheesh. Man, we covered in ice. My goodness. Woo. All right, let's get this thing, at least try to get it started. Which I'm pretty sure is gonna be much harder than you think. Uh-oh, got little lights. No, I ain't got no lights, man. This stuff is done. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh yeah. I can't even get any emergency sounds. It's it's not starting. It is not starting, baby. Oh yeah. She all the way dead. Whew. Alright, let's get the cables out. All right, so we're gonna see if she gonna start. Let's see if she gonna start. Dang. Almost, almost had her, almost had her. Let me see, I might need to let her sit for a little longer. Let me try one more time. She gonna have to sit for a minute. I might be able to throw this APU on. Let's throw this APU on and see what that does. So, got the APU running, charging up the battery. Well, I had the APU running. Let's see why I shut off. Dog it. <laughs> well, that's not good. That is not good at all. All right, let's see what's going on. Approximately 10 hours later. You see it? You see it? I was on my way to the Waffle House and I said, you know what? No, nah, we're not gonna do the Waffle House. Let's just make some pancakes, call it a day. And that's what we did. Yo, I could've stayed, I could've stayed at home for this. So, roads are pretty much closed everywhere. And then, here's the thing, I get a message that says the building where the delivery is going, they're they're closed. They're going home. They're going home. Um, yeah, I was seventy miles away from being done. Now it's probably gonna be another day. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? 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 So yeah, I'm like angled toward the street to get out, but these guys are like, forget it. They were trying to come in here. I guess it's full, they're gonna back up. And then this guy here, he's like stuck. I can't even focus. Man, it's rough out here. Yeah, you can't even focus. Maybe if I just did that, yeah, that would help. So yeah, it's rad out here, man, it's bad.
this is going to take a lot longer than it should. Yeah. Oh, uh -oh. this guy's moving. The, uh oh, uh oh. Alright, we gotta go. We're moving. So yeah, I get to the receiver, right? Right. So this is the place where I can drop this load and be done with it. But no. I pull down the street. You don't see anything when you turn down the street. So you're thinking like, oh, it's pretty empty. Then you get to the very end. And there's just like this sea of trucks. I don't know if it's a sea of trucks. We're going to just stick with the line. A line of trucks. That's just the simplest way to state it. There's just like this line of trucks all the way up to the gate. I mean, there are just like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if you can look. If you check this out, look, look, look up here at the front. Like, there are people who have just said, you know what, forget it. And they just drop the trailer right in the line. Like, they just drop the trailer right there and left. Which, I'm not going to lie, I did call and ask if I could do that. And they said, no, don't do that. That is not okay. I said, really? I said, it's really not okay? Because it sounds like a really good option right now with the gate being closed like this. So yeah, that's the gate you're supposed to drive in on the right. And you check in at that little guard shack right there. And then you just park it at one of these parking spots to the right. Or you just back it up to the door there. Which, you know, I really don't care. Because usually whatever I do, I detach from it, drop it, move on to the next thing. But no, this is very different than any day I've ever had. Like, they've been slow. Don't get me wrong. But I've never pulled up and the gate was closed. Yeah, so instead of, like, walking all the way to the front, I just sent the drone up and took a look. See, like, that trailer right there on the left? Dude, the dude's gone. He's gone. And then the guy behind him, he's gone. So I'm just like, man, I wonder does that count like an abandonment of the load? I don't know. But I was like, it sounds like a really good idea right now. Really good. But um, yeah, they said don't do that. So I don't know what's going to go on with those guys, but they, they specifically said don't do that. So yeah. So that that's yeah and it's just going on and on and on well it's not that far that sounds like it's for miles it's not miles it's not that long of a line that that'd be crazy right probably a miles now because this was a while ago like it was daylight dark now i'm doing this voiceover while i'm editing yeah so anywho this has been the load from a very dark place jeez so yeah yeah, that's the first truck right there. As you can see, that gate's still closed. Wait, uh-oh, I see lights in the guard shack. Uh, was that there or just wasn't dark enough yet? But even if it is, look how many employees are there. Who's gonna unload the truck? I don't care who unloads it. She needs somebody to open the gate. I'll drop this trailer in the bathroom if I have to. Wait, what? That didn't sound right. That, that it was like, it had to be a major pause moment. I'm sure that it didn't sound right. You drop a trailer in the bathroom? What? All right, let's go. I mean, not go, because we can't go anywhere, but let's move on to the next scene. Dude, and the crazy thing is, like, they don't even have people to do Uber Eats out here. Like, it's a few restaurants in town, but there's nobody available to deliver it. Man, they could make a killing right now. I mean, granted, I got food but i would much rather have some firehouse or some hooters or whatever <laughs> beats this microwave 
<laughs> vegetables and and doggone fruit any day speaking of fruit i think i'll have some all right well uh I'll probably call it night hopefully they'll open well what time is it it looks like quite a few employees are coming to work if you look over there that parking lot is getting pretty full we might be opening up there soon boys hey look at this guy this guy thinks he's got it figured out he just pulls up on the scene he's like i know how to get i i'll just cut in front of everybody and and get in there yeah that's 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 how he's gonna do it what's gonna end up happening he's gonna probably block up that one lane that we have left to operate with and yeah genius genius when that white truck right there moves that's when you know we're in business until then what if he's broke down or something and he's never gonna move well that that combination those two they gotta stay they right i don't know 